Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I had a special request to test out 3D Mark Port Royal. My new AMD Ryzen 9 Signature for the X3D okay. setup. So I do have Port Royal here uh, ready to run. And I do have an Asus Strix RTX 4090 graphics card, which I do have overclocked. And these are the overclocked things I'm using. 100% uh, force cold core voltage. Power limit set to 120. Temp limit I did not adjust. It's at 84C. Core clock, an additional 190 megahertz. And memory, an additional 1,287 megahertz. Uh, the fan I will have at 100%. I don't have it currently at 100% because I won't want to make a lot of noise. I'm trying to describe everything I'm doing here. And these are the GPU-Z um, clock settings for the GPU. And CPU-Z, like I said, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D setup with a negative 20 offset PBO. And for those of you who want to see the memory clock speeds, I am running 6400 MHz transfer memory. And the CPU is, like I said, just uh, with a negative 20 PPU offset. So we're going to go ahead and run this test. Let me just close out these uh, things here. Let me set the fan to 100%. Close the MSI afterburner, and we're going to go ahead and run it. And I'm not going to show the entire uh, process, but uh, while this loads, I will just say that I've been very impressed with this uh, setup. I wish I went to A and B sooner. And it's been very reliable. I've not, I've honestly not had one crash since installing the OS. I think I may have had one when I was just adjusting a few settings that I didn't really was familiar with, but it's been rock solid, stable. The temperatures are just great, even on this uh, AIO. Now, don't get me wrong, I do have a decent AIO that has a 420 millimeter, 420 millimeter radiator, and I also have uh, three high speed custom fans hooked up to the radiator on both sides. And I also got the super tower case, which obviously has a lot of space for cooling. So it is uh, loaded here. So what I'm going to do is let this run. And then uh, when it gets towards the end, I will continue this video and we will see the final score. But stay tuned and uh, we will see what this thing will get. Stay tuned. Okay, we are just about now wrapping up the Port Royal test. My GPU fan is still at full tilt, pretty loud, obviously, but it's uh, definitely helps keep the temperatures cooler. And it looks like that we did finish the test, and we have a score of 28,305. Average frame per second of 131.04. GPU clock frequency, 3,075 MHz. Memory clock frequency of 1473. So that's Port Royal. Next I will do Time Spy and we'll see what the score is, but stay tuned. And for those of you who are wondering, my i9 14RKS uh, Port Royal score was a high score of 28,091. And the one I just did today, the Ryzen 9 set up 28,305. Okay, now I got Time Spy all ready to run. We are running the same uh, settings with the fan still at 100%. As you can clearly hear, we'll go ahead and load this uh, benchmark. And while that loads, I will just say that um, I have been hearing about the 8 series, uh, 8, what was it called, 860E uh, chipset for AMD. And really, I see there's no reason to upgrade if you already have a um, Zen 5, or yeah, Zen 4 CPU. So I don't really see the reason to upgrade unless I just want to have higher memory uh, clocks. But I think I'm going to wait. Uh, obviously, I just built this system, so I might as well just hold on to this uh, motherboard and CPU for a while. And then wait for the 8 series to come out, and then possibly uh, let Zen 5 with their AMD X3D chips uh, come come out uh, just to let them work out all their kinks and bugs and hopefully get better uh, results. But until then, I'm just going to wait. So we've got 3D Mark Time Spy uh, loaded up here. It is uh, going to start any second. And then, like I said in the last video, we will let it run. And then we'll show the results at the end. But stay tuned. All right, we're finishing graphics test number two. And then the last thing we have is the CPU test, which will be testing the AMD Ryzen 9 X3D CPU under all core load. But so far, everything's been running. No issues with crashing. Very stable. We'll see how the CP benchmark runs, and then we will see the final score. Uh, 
Okay, so AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D and Asus RTX 4090 graphics card. Score of 29,439. Graphics score of 34,671. And CPU score of 15,870. So that's it. That's uh, the two uh, benchmarks that I wanted to test. And I uh, hope you guys did appreciate the video. I will do a gaming uh, video test later today of um, Dead Space remake which i did just recently install so stay tuned for that video but until then thanks for watching appreciate all the support and if you like the video do give this video a like if you want to see more content like this more 49 game videos and more of this ryzen 9 b setup feel free to subscribe thanks for watching appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys for another video soon enough later guys peace out before i close out the video absolutely 100 percent here i just want to show you the i9 1400ks and time supply does score a lot higher because I think the all core and single core clock speeds of the i9 1400 ks is just higher, but it got a 35,555. And then the AMD Ryzen 9 got 29,439. That's all. See you guys around.